The condition of the heart is extremely important. It is. Keeping I'm, it tender. I'm fascinated by the, the protection, the, yeah. the shield, as you say, the yeah. shield that comes over your heart. What is it and why does it come? I think there's perhaps a good shield, which is the presence of God that keeps me. But there's a, I would call it a crust, uh, which isn't, doesn't sound good and it's not meant to sound good. Mm. It's the hardness. It's the, my wife said something to me, uh, hypothetically, yeah. and I hold it against her. It forms a very thin layer. Yeah. I walk through an issue with some people and I, I'm not going to let it go. I'm going to hold on to it. Ten years time. Instead of it being a millimetre thick around my heart, it's now like uh, two or three centimetres. And it's affecting my ability to love other people. Mm. It's affecting my ability to receive love from God, mm. give love to God. Mm. And yet I look okay on the outside, but my heart has become encased in a lot of rubbish. And one of the promises in scripture is that when you come to me, I'll take your heart of stone and I'll exchange it for a heart of flesh. And Jesus does that, but we've got to be willing for him to be able to do that by surrender. So there's a crust over your heart, yeah. but there's, um, there's a cross here. On the crust, the pie, the pie of God, the pie of Jesus, the pie of life, the pie of the Holy Spirit, and the steam is coming out. What is that steam, that energy that's coming out of that crust that's open? Because clearly you're open and you're opening more and more every day, yeah. you're surrendering more and more. How do people do that? So some people hear what I say and they say, that's interesting, I'll come and listen. But there has to come a time, they say, first I was interested because of what you said, but now I'm interested because I've seen in myself. My presence is with you today. You can feel my presence. Okay. His presence can be that real for anybody. Though he's not in a physical frame and sitting next to you, in one way he is because he lives inside of me. He does. But the person watching this, if they would just open up their mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I'm hearing about you. I know nothing about you. Can't explain my history and what I've been through, the pain. I come to you today and I want to know your presence in my life. And wherever there's a cross will, I'm willing to surrender to you. Would you help me? I think in that moment, I know in that moment he'll come because he delights to meet his children soon as they call upon him. He'll come.